Welcome to the Crimson Engine. Today we are looking at three different seven inch monitors, who they're for, what they can do, and which one is gonna be the most useful for the kind of filmmaking that you do. So today we have three monitors. The Elvid Field Vision 4K runs about $180 on B&H. The Blackmagic seven inch video assist recorder uh, runs about $1,000. And the uh, TV Logic F7H uh, runs about $2,000. So who are these monitors for? What do I use them for? And what's my experience been? Let's start at the uh, entry level. Um, I can't believe this thing, it's under $200. It's called the Field Vision 4K, which means it supports 4K signal in. It will display a 4K signal. The screen itself is not 4K. The screen itself is 1920 by 1200 pixels, I believe. It's the only one of these that's powered off the um, Sony style NP batteries, which is great because you can get really big ones of these. Um, it runs for at least a couple of hours uh, on the, the large size of these. Um, it only has HDMI in, so no SDI. False color with a display of what the false color values are on the side, which you don't get with the uh, Blackmagic. Peaking assist, black and white, zoom. That was the downfall of the early five and seven inch monitors was that it took 10 seconds to get the picture up and 10 seconds to change it each time. With actually all three of these, the, the response is pretty much instantaneous. Bright, um, do you need a sun hood for outdoors? Will power from mains power um, through the, uh, I think it's a five volt charger. For $200, pretty unbeatable. Um, even if you have one of these, it's a great second monitor as a director's monitor. Color rendition isn't as good as either of these, um, but if you're using it just for focus or just to check the image, it's great. Moving on to the Blackmagic Video Assist 7 inch. This guy um, is also a recorder. So it has two SDI slots in the, back, in the side. It will record in 4K. Um, it's great for DS, DSLR shooters who wanna get around the 29 minute limit um, of a lot of their cameras. And I think that's who it's aimed for. Beautiful colors, touch screen, which I th for me makes the screen a little bit greasy as you're uh, messing with it on set. The big downfall for me was that this thing is powered by these tiny little LP6 batteries. Um, you need about, you need two of them and they go through two of them in about 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, it really wears through the power because the display is so big. For me, I never found a, um, you know, a V mount or a gold mount solution for this that I was happy with, um, that I thought was safe for the camera. So I ended up just either leaving it plugged in or carrying around dozens of LP6 batteries and keeping them on charge. It was a real headache. A beautiful image, but just not that usable for the kind of filmmaking I do. Which led me to this, which is the um, TV Logic uh, F7H. Uh, this is a true um, digital cinema camera monitor, about you know half or two thirds of the weight of this one. Um, HDMI in, SDI in and out. Um, not in touch screen, it has a little uh, jog shuttle up here to select things. Um, very fully featured. Uh, it comes with a cable that lets you plug this into a DTAP port on a V-mount battery plate, um, which was a lifesaver. Now I can plug, now I can power my whole camera system from one battery. That's how I did, uh, that's how I shot Neon Noir. Um, and we got through the entire um, weekend on like 150 watt hour battery. This thing has so many features. Um, it has false color, which you can adjust uh, where your values and colors are. It has focus peaking, of course. It has lots of different ways to zoom into the menu. It has three function buttons up here, which are kind of like braille coded with one, two, and no bumps, so you can see them in the dark. Um, it really is, you know, the monitor I've been waiting for. Um, probably the best thing about it is that I assigned one of these buttons to the brightness level. You can be indoors, see it fine, and then move outside, click the button once and have a super bright, um, you know, the TV Logic says it's the brightest monitor on the market. I totally believe it. It's, it's so bright, you can watch, you can look at it, um, no problem and see all your exposure and all your um, data uh, at midday in full sun. So you don't have to mess around with any kind of um, uh, shade or people holding flags over the top of the camera so you can see what you're doing. It really is the next thing up. It is, uh, retails for around 2000. Um, this is around 900. Uh, this is under 200. So, you know, there's a range of monitors there um, for wherever you are in your filmmaking. And I hope this helped you kind of look at what you're um, choosing.
both the uh, the black magic and the um, TV logic let you build your own LUTs in something like Resolve and you, through USB import them into the monitor so that you can look at them. The TV logic is a little quicker um, at doing it. Um, you don't you do with the black magic you actually have to connect it to a computer and find it in the um, system. With this you just plug a thumb drive into the bottom and it kind of pulls the LUT out from the thumb drive. This also has built-in um, LUTs for all the popular cameras like Ari and Canon and Sony which I think is great so if you're swapping between cameras you don't need to bring your own LUT and install it. This will probably be my monitor for the next couple of years at least um, and we'll see where we go after that. But thanks very much for watching. Hope it helped people select a monitor for, that works for them. And I will see you next time.